go, go towards the front of the horse, not the back of him. Because that would have been a bad thing for you if, if he kicked. That's okay. Does he tie well? Stop what you're doing and tell him to stop moving his feet, and then go back to what you're doing when he's behaving. It's, a, it's just a discipline thing. so it doesn't fall off, but then we're going to move them around before we tighten. Yeah, and I would always do the chest to the chest first and then between the legs because if he were to suddenly pant and jump, he's got to be on his legs.
and then we're gonna get that to where it settles on him properly, the way his body says. We got some straps that are still in there. So always think of the force of saddle as if your shoes they pull up sand and grit in. So like these straps could potentially be I'm a princess in the pea, I'll take one of off thirty so I treat my horses the exact same way. Okay. Oh, ask him to go around you. So a single kiss would tell him to do something. Right now, if you just point and he only crossed his feet over, he wouldn't have done anything wrong. He would have done exactly as you asked. Okay, so we're gonna high yield him now. Yep. Make him stay out on that circle. Good. Okay. So now we're gonna tighten this one more time, but we're gonna actually do it in three stages. See, I, I don't have one that has this extra piece here, so I always, no, it's, you're probably right. I don't have one that has the extra. I got going on here. Hold on. Okay, so you go through this first one first. Okay. Then you're going to go, see how this has two places to go? Then you're going to go through here. And then you're going to go through that farther one. Okay, and then this, you're going to do your, your bow tie. Or your, it's not a bow tie, it's just like your tie. It just happens to be a long line. All you have to do is pull this piece forward. Okay, see how much I got out of that? But you don't want to do that to him when you first saddle him. That's not going to do.
So now if you were to reach around and touch him on the knuckle, would he be okay with that? If you were to reach around and touch him on the knuckle, would he be okay with that? Okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to see if you can find where your butt feels comfortable with your hand being flat on his rump directly behind you. Yep, and then tuck yourself under you until that's comfortable to do with your hand. So in other words, you're going to put your hand back there flat, and then you're going to adjust tailbone to make that comfortable. Now you're on your balance point. Yep. No, now you're on the balance. When you could only do fingertips, you were too far off of your rope to where if he were to zig, you would have zagged. So you want to make sure that you're always on your balance point so that way if he trips, you go with him, you go back up with him. If he stops short, you stay with him or zig, you zig instead of zag. You can check that throughout all your ride. You can do it in a walk, a trot, a canter, it doesn't matter. If you ever are concerned that you're not on the balance point, he's just worried about the tractor. in any direction, you would go with him instead of off of him. Now, did you give him any physical energy to make him do that? Where he yes. he goosed? Okay. So it was more automatic, okay? So we want to try to make ourselves aware, especially if he's aware of everything else that's going around with him. Okay. If we give him driving energy that he's going to be caught off guard by, he's going to take off faster than we want. And it didn't seem like it was necessary more than just asking him a little bit more with your body. Yeah, because he doesn't need legs. Yeah, I'm the anti-leg person. Okay. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> she knows. <laughs>
this breastplate, it, it's a little bit below than we should. Yeah. Okay, we should have it up here, right where the the. Because I've got help. So see how it's kind of hanging. You're actually inhibiting his movement. So I would tighten it. Or if you find that your shoulder, I mean, you put me on. The only reason you have this is if your saddle slides back. If you find that your saddle slides back, then I wouldn't even. Not climbing mountains, you know, and cause the saddle to pull back. Um, I wouldn't do this. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I, I have to go through anyway. I need to turn all that stuff off. See that? Oh, good. Well, I think my uh, again my communication problem is just.